Well, I gotta tell you, this part of the Southern Colorado Rockies this time of year literally explodes with color. And I'm so excited to be able to have access to this 80,000 acre private ranch in the Sangre de Cristo range that has never been photographed. And you can be a part of it. <laughs> Everywhere I'm looking, it's like a postcard. Oh man, look at, look at that. An ocean of fall colors combined with one of the most jaw-dropping sunsets I've ever seen. Now, how often are you gonna get a chance to do this? <laughs> Not often. <laughs> look at that sunset, holy moly. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here where I can get on my long lens and concentrate on that little area there where the sun is between the earth and the cloud. Oh man, look at that. We got those beautiful clouds. We've got some nice little hills in the foreground there. And then complete that with a really nice band of brilliant yellow fall aspens all in the same shot. Quick, tell me where else in the world you can shoot like that. Now the first setting that you want to always pay attention to is you want to you set want to your aperture raw. at 7.1 if you're operating on a full frame. Observe how the image changes as we do what's known as sight so in. So what you should do right. is always mount the lens this and image, the body. Uh, there, you'll notice a lot of dead space above and below that the, the brightest cloud part formation. of the cloud has detail in it. Sure, All we we're not blowing out the highlights and the yellow leaves. The shutter speed. We also want to capture. You'll never have to worry about a problem. Could debate endlessly. Yeah, but I would say that if you were only able to go out into the field with one lens, so you got to be here. You got to be here. No one else has these shots. No one else has access to this land. It's just the best kept secret in landscape photography, and that's all I know. The only way I know to describe it. <laughs>